Great. Now that we have this beautiful site so far, let's do our nav. If you go to uh, Moose Tools, there is a uh, CSS menu RGB. Go ahead and click that. You can save it if you want. And this is what you come up with. Okay, so we're just going to leave this menu here and we're going to create our buttons. Let's see, for Goose Lake there might be home or welcome. How about the center? And we could put history and, uh, I don't know, a location. Okay, and then if we could have uh, a, a programs and children's programs, children's. One for me, seniors, seniors, don't feed the docs, blah, 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 and a regular. Okay, and then we could have, I don't know, a gift shop, and we could sell stuff, I guess. Gift shop, and then we'll have, uh, 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 is there about, how about about, and we could put sponsors, sponsors. Uh, maybe, I don't know. How about donate? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, donate. Okay. Donate. Okay, so now that we have our, our beautiful button bar, we can see how it already works, but you know, we don't like these colors. So we're going to go and make it kind of greenish, which means a green should be somewhat like that. Let's say, so that's going to be our buttons. Uh, let's see, maybe do a... a Blue, uh, yeah, bluish green. Ah, yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another another sh uh, shade of green for my drop downs. Okay, and then uh, uh, for maybe a dark green. And you'll you'll get to see the pattern on on how to how to configure these. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna grab my buttons. Just I'm all I have to do is. Click that, copy, command C, because it selects everything that we need to put in our nav section. So I'm going to go like this, highlight these, hit down a little bit, and paste. So that puts my buttons. Then I'm going to go back here, get just the styles. Looky, it selects just the styles. If I wanted to select with the style tag, I would do complete button CSS, it includes that. But if you just hit just styles, it'll select just the style. So I'm going to copy that, Command C. Then I'm going to go to my styles CSS. And I'll just paste it at the top. It don't matter because it, it reads it so quick. Once I hit save all, uh, we can see our beautiful, beautiful nav bar is now in place. It's beautiful. What do you think? All right, now we want to put our graphic, our pond graphic, in the header. So watch this. I'm going to go to my source code. I'm going to find here content for Goose Lake header goes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself some space. I'm going to go to insert and under common is image. I'm going to hit image. I'm going to find my pond. Good, that's beautiful. And it puts it in there. So now if we save all, see isn't this coming along really good and, and quick. There's our beautiful, beautiful pond. Here's our wonderful nav bar. Okay, so here's the deal. What I'm going to show you a little bit about what, what it lies in store for you as far as uh, uh, the responsiveness goes. Look, if I put my cursor inside the image and I go down to eight or at the end of the image and I go down to the HTML, look, I can pick classes, I think. Yes, right here, class. Now, look, if you look at the style sheet, you'll see that there is a class called 100. And 100 means that it goes completely across the page. If you go to 50, and the reason I caught, wrote out the, num the numbers is because regular numbers won't, won't work. Looky, if I put 50 as the class, it'll go across 50%. But we want it to go across 100. And so look, when I go back here, and I put the cursor here, and I go down to the class, I can pick 
100. And it's alphabetical, so I should be able to see it. Where is it? Do, do, do. There it is, right there. Boop. So now look, it added a class. No, it didn't put it in the wrong div. So all I have to do is make sure it goes inside the image tag. So now there's an image called, or an image class, 100, which means our image is going to go all the way across. Now, it already did that, didn't it? So why did we do that? I'll tell you why. Because when it comes to responsive design, you want it to be 100%, not 960 pixels here. Like it says here, we want it to be 100%. So let me just show you. Right now, our wrapper, remember we made it 960? But what happens if we made it, I don't know, 480? So if it was on an iPad. Okay, look what happens. When we refresh, uh-oh. Let's see, it looks like maybe my... There we go. Okay, here's like it's like there's a div missing somewhere. I bet you uh, look what it did. It took out the div, the closing div. No, no, that's how it happened. All right, let me see. Let me save all. Oh, I I didn't save all. I bet you that's what it was. Okay, let's see. I don't know for some reason my article. Okay, so we know where the problem is. Here's the article div class. Here's our and 100, 100, it's like something happened here. It took out like an extra div. So our div begins here. Here's our nav. So we have a nav, two, nav, two divs, one div closing. There's another div closing. There's another div closing. It's like it's missing. It's got too many Divs. Oh, look what look what happened. This is where Dreamweaver will goof you up. Look, it said div ID instead of div space ID. But now I'm glad that happened. So let's see if that fixed it. Yes. Okay. So if we're getting back to the subject. How's that for problem solving? So look, when we put it at 480, everything shrunk, and but there's still 12 columns. So if we go back to our our wrapper and we make I don't know, let's make it. 760, 768, that's a common size. When we go back to our page and we re refresh, it grows to 768, and so the, the image goes all, all the way across 100%, and no matter what size it is, there's still 12 columns. And that's the secret to responsive design, to put the widths in percentages and not in pixels. But before, before we forget, I'm going to change this back to 960. Oh, let me just show you one more thing. And you would never, ever, ever, ever do this, but I'm going to put this at 100%. I think I will try. Yes, 100%. Now watch what happens. This is so interesting. It's going to go 100% across the page. So when I shrink it down, you can see that it is shrinking according to the width of my device. When it gets to be a phone, look, the right bar and the article stack up. As soon as it gets past 480, they're side by side. There's the float. Okay, so that's why we want to put a percentage of, or a class of 100. So that's of 100. Let's, so let's go back and put this at 960 pixels. Make sure you do the pixels. And I'm going to look at my beautiful site. That is back at 960. Okay, when we get back, I'm going to show you how to put the geese and the nest inside this area here.